right off the top of the story that Jeremy broke for us not too long ago, UC Baseball now looking for a coach after the head coach resigned today. Again, this is a story we broke. We first aired last week about those two UC Baseball assistant coaches who were fired for potential NCAA violations, possibly concerning gambling. Jeremy, okay, so this, and actually you didn't even wait for the newscast to break this. You broke this online. You've been following this closely. What's the very latest here? Well, Trisha, it was just one week ago that we broke the story about the NCAA investigating the UC baseball program. And this is new today. As you said, at UC head baseball coach Scott Guggins has resigned after six years leading the program. And there's more to it. UC athletic director John Cunningham made the announcement in a release where he thanked Guggins for his time as the head coach of the Bearcats. Cunningham made no mention of the NCAA's investigation into the program as a reason for Guggins now resigning. A source did tell me that Guggins was told by Cunningham when he first learned of the NCAA's investigation that his future would be addressed at the end of the season. And now, of course, he has resigned. Here is a timeline of events around this investigation. April the 28th, a source tells us a parent of a UC baseball player made a bet for the head coach at Alabama at Great American Ballpark. On May the 4th, the Alabama head coach was fired for betting on his own team via that UC baseball parent. May the 8th, the NCAA begins investigating UC baseball. May 17th, those two UC staff members, Kyle Sprague and Andy Nagel, were fired because they had knowledge of bets being made by that same UC parents and did not report. May the 26th, a source confirmed to us that the UC parent we have referenced and talked about but won't name right now is connected to investigations at UC and Alabama. And today, UC head baseball coach Scott Guggins has resigned. There is a lot of info here, some we still can't report. We're working to confirm right now. I can tell you that the NCAA is still investigating UC baseball while they search for a new head coach. Tricia. Can we talk about this uh, UC parent? You say you know who it is, but you're not uh, uh, saying who it is. Why is that? So right now, Trisha, he has not faced criminal charges while the NCAA investigates both UC and Alabama. So we are not releasing his name right now. We can tell you that he is connected to recruiting and uh, he has a big role around the team. So this is why this is such a major story because it has been reported that the bets he made at Great American Ballpark, Trisha, for that Alabama head coach were for Alabama to lose. And so you can understand that was a problem. Now we understand as well that he's made bets around the UC baseball program. Uh, his son is a pitcher on the team and also he's connected to recruiting as well in certain ways. So he has a lot of pull here. This investigation is not done yet, but right now, Tricia, we don't, uh, he has not been criminally charged. So we are so, not releasing that name just yet. So the, actually, so the parent, um, I, I know I'm, I'm, maybe I'm asking too many questions because you're trying to not identify this sure. person right now but is is in on the recruiting end as well so I mean I understand how this could be a potential problem you bet on a team you get the pitcher yeah. you know the pitcher you know hey throw a couple more strikes throw a couple balls walk sure. that kid whatever else or you know uh, you're playing Alabama maybe you want to like throw an inning or whatever else I can see the potential problems but how did he fit into all of this so his his role initially and how he fit into this from what I understand Trisha is that he is someone who is very involved in betting in a large way, more than just the UC baseball program, more than just Alabama, and he is very connected to a lot of people making bets. Again, I'm not naming his name right, right now, but right. this is what I've been told. And so you can understand how his role around UC baseball and how the two staff members who knew this was going on and did not report, knowing he has a son on the team, knowing he has a friend of his son also on the team, he's very connected. He has a lot of knowledge, and that is a problem in college athletics right yeah. you make a bet based on inside knowledge around your team your son's team whatever it might be you're helping others make bets yep to lose potentially i'm just saying potentially uh, it's a big problem the so right now to, and the coaches need to report it and the coaches need to report it and so right now that's why there is so much drama around both of these uh programs right now all right jared thanks yeah. i will get back to you in just a little